Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, uh, it's Nitro Kyosho. And also I'd like to take this quick time to shout out to all my subscribers and thank them for all their uh, wonderful comments and, and uh, support. Uh, I'm going to just give you a quick overview here. A lot of guys want to know about, they ask me, you say we have old T-Rex helicopters or we bought Flybard uh, T-Rex helicopters and we want to upgrade uh, to a fly barless. Can it be done? Uh, how do you do it? Well, depending which one you have, guys, uh, the 450, uh, 250, uh, 500, and on up, um, basically what you have to do is uh, the, the head has to be changed for one, okay? Uh, you can buy these kits from a line. This is a kit for the 500. And basically, it's not a whole lot to change, guys. Uh, this is the 500 DFC, and this is good for the T-Rex 500E or the 500E Pro. Uh, it's the main, uh, excuse me, main rotor head upgrade set. Uh, and what you get in this is the new main shaft because the main shaft is going to be different so you can't use the old main shaft so if you have a, a ton of those in stock you can always sell those on craigslist or ebay uh, but basically in this box <coughs> excuse me you get the new rotor uh, head housing um, you get the main shaft you get uh, a little packet of uh, your new uh, screws and that kind of stuff because I believe the screw for the head uh, to hold the main shaft is different on the top. The nut is the same uh, and you get your new link arms which I'll get up and show you here uh, and that's about it. I mean it took me probably, I was going to put out a video guys of putting it together but it literally took like two minutes to put it together. Also they're claiming the uh, in the head housing, they give you the new um, rubber dampeners. They're saying those are different. I don't know. I didn't compare them to the old ones because they were already installed. I don't know if they really are, but they claim they're different. So they might be. I'll find out that in the future. Also, uh, you have to upgrade to the DFC, the uh, swash plate. Some guys, you can get away without doing that. Um, they're angled a little different for the pitch rods that are going to connect the way that they're on the swash. I upgraded just to be on the safe side. Some guys don't. Depend I guess from what I heard from a couple of my buddies that, that did it was uh, it depends on the uh, if you're using a B Stex, which is like a 90 degree servo, or if you're using like a 3GX system, which is 120 uh, for the swash. Okay, so that, that's going to depend on, the, oh, I guess, on the way the angles of it are. Uh, but I would do it just to be on the safe side. I mean, it, it's set up differently, so. But basically, you need to do the, the head guys. I know they have the kits for the 450, and I know they have them for the 500. Uh, I don't know if the 700 is even being offered anymore as a flybard helicopter. I, I believe in the future they're going to probably eliminate flybard helicopters, possibly. I don't hold me to that, but it seems like they're they're moving in that direction. So basically, the head setup, guys, the swash. Let me tell you. If you hold on one second here. Uh, let's see. One more piece of information for you guys. And I can tell you here. All right. Basically, it's not really too cheap of an upgrade. I mean, if you want to do it, the uh, getting a digital pitch gauge is thirty-four dollars. You got to get a fly barless. Uh, unit like a 3gx or a bstex which is going to cost you over 200 dollars at least 220 they're, they're probably pretty close to being the same price uh, so just for the fly barless unit and the digital pitch gauge you're looking at about 258 and uh, i paid for the 
DFC main rotor upgrade was 59 and the uh, swash was 32 and those came from A main hobbies so uh, you know you're looking at about I would say 350 to do it so if you want to do it for all your helicopters if you have a fleet of them it's, it's gonna put a pretty big dent in the wallet guys um, some guys were complaining uh, to me about a line they said that a line is you know rips people off because every five minutes every half year they're changing something they go from this to that you know they had the 450 they had the 450 pro to 450 pro v2 to pro uh, ef l head fly wireless then they came out with the that was kind of defective the link rods were standard old style little skinny link rods and they were popping off during flights heavy duty 3d flights they were blowing apart the head so they upgraded to the DFC which has the uh, when I get up I'll show you the big thick uh, links um, and now their line is working on new torque tube gears that uh, don't strip out as easily if you go to their main site you can see a demonstration of them or on YouTube if you go to their channel on YouTube you can see a demonstration of the new gears and uh, their people were telling me they're just you know, kind of pissed because the line is constantly, either, they, you know, the tail too, they upgraded the tail, the DFC, the, the new tail with the zero slop. And they say, well, why don't they just make all this stuff at once? Uh, and you got to remember, guys, yeah, it is kind of, it sucks. And, it, it, you know, you feel like you're kind of getting ripped off and screwed sometimes. But, you know, you got to understand they do that with everything. You know, you go buy an iPhone iPhone 2, iPhone 3, iPhone 4S, 5S, you know, uh, the iPads, uh, they do it with tires, they do it with cars, they do it with everything. Technology changes, guys. If it doesn't change and it just sits stagnant, then a line's going to fall behind, you know, and they're going to be behind other companies. There's competitors out there. There's E-Flight, there's Gowi, there's Mikado, uh, there's the Saab Healy division now, uh, there's, uh, you know, other brands I can't even think of off the top of my head. Uh, so there's, you know, there's Protos also. Uh, there's competition out there, guys, and they're trying to stay basically on the cutting edge of it, you know. So it, it's a pricey, pretty expensive thing to, uh, to upgrade it. I don't know if you'd want to do it to all of them. You could try one and see if you like it. My main reason, I think a lot of people's main reason for doing it uh, is because it seems to be the thing of the future. I did it uh, for, you know, less parts to fix and, uh, you know, I'm going to put out a video comparing the two heads and you're going to be probably shocked when you see the difference. But anyways, guys, that's basically what you need, uh, a fly wireless unit, um, swash and the head set up there and that's about it. Um, so let me get up and show you what comes in this thing here and uh, we'll end this video this is basically what you get in the set guys you get your new head block you get your main shaft these are the new connecting these these arms connect these are not uh, uh, the blade grips these connect to your your blade grips you can use the ones on the 500 I don't know if you can use the ones I think you have to change the blade grips on the 450 Pro if you do it. They give you your little kit uh, with your new screws and nuts and everything. Definitely take these apart here, these screws and re-loctite, loctite these onto the blade grips. Very, very simple to put together, guys. Literally takes minutes compared to putting the old T-Rex uh, 500 E Pro head together, which took hours with all the loctiting. Uh, so there you go that's what what's in that box there and uh, like I said it's a pricey upgrade but if you want to go fly barless you know then you gotta get your wallet out guys thanks for watching